He says that all should come to repentance. Now, to repent means to turn. The word repent does not mean be sorrowful. The word repent does not mean turn from sin. It just means turn. It means changing your mind about something. I was driving north. I repented. I started driving south. I wasn't sorrowful. I wasn't teared up about it. I had not sinned. I simply repented. You have to understand that word because people use this to say, see, you have to repent of your sins to be saved. But yet, Matthew 21, For John came unto you in the way of righteousness, and ye believed him not. But the publicans and the harlots believed him. And ye, when ye had seen it, repented not afterward, that ye might believe him. There are people that hear the Bible and hear the Bible, and in their heart, they just kind of say, you guys believe it, but not me. Well, guess what? God hears your heart. God knows what's on your mind, and you're going to have to answer for it. It's up to you to just really believe that. In Mark chapter 1, he says, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. Yeah, that's right. Listen, when most people get saved, it's not like they have this sorrowful meltdown about all of their sin. Most people are thankful, yeah. happy, tears of joy. Thank God I know this now. I've been wondering. Now I'm set free. That's true salvation. And it happens when you change your mind about trusting in your own works. You have to repent of your repentance, right? If you're repenting of sins to be saved, you need to repent of that. You need to change your mind and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ alone. In Acts 19, he says, Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on Him which should come after Him, that is, on Christ Jesus. To repent, when He says that, he should, that we should all come to repentance, God wants us to be saved by changing our mind and believing the Gospel, then we're saved. We've got to turn from trusting in our own works. 